Uh, hello. What is up, YouTube? Um, Steve here for a new video. Um, this one is gonna be on social isolation. Um, I actually, fun fact, I actually recorded the video on this topic yesterday, and I was gonna upload it, but and it came out good. That, that, that's not the issue. It came out good. It was a positive video, and I hope this one will still be positive. You know, I hope I won't uh, get myself too worked up in this video, but I felt it could be, it could still be better. You know, the, the last video I made about social so, social isolation again. That's a, well, <laughs> that, that that's like a tongue twister for me. Social isolation. That's like a tongue twister, but but in all seriousness, like the video was good, but. I don't think I'm gonna upload it because I felt it could have been better still, you know. And you guys deserve better. You guys really deserve that because these videos, these videos aren't about me. And I've tried to say that since day one. I've tried to make this not really about me because it's not about me. It's really about. I, I use myself as a template, but I'd like to think that this is really about. Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry about that, uh, my phone buzzed, but I'll get back to that later. But this is really about something bigger than that. You know, the, the, this is really about helping somebody, maybe more than one person, you know, maybe whoever uh, sees these videos, really. You know, these videos are about something bigger than me. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, I want to get on with the video. Um,. Which is on, again, social isolation. <laughs> I actually said that good that time. But, now, I usually try not to do this because these videos really should come from the heart. But, I wanted to... I, want, I, I did a little bit of research, very, very little research, on Wikipedia of all places. <laughs> on uh, social isolation. I, I don't think you could see it, but whatever. It, it's too bright, I don't know camera glare or whatever but but yeah I wanted to do a little bit of research on this because it, it's very different than social anxiety or even being socially challenged you know by in, in my case because I have Asperger's syndrome social isolation is a little <laughs> different I said I said it weird that time it's a little different than that because it, it's really it could be related to those things but social anxiety is more well, I'll try to I'll try to explain it the best way I can without going too much into the research, but I did very little research, but but um at least the way I the way the way I see it is that social anxiety is it's more your you avoid social situations or you try you don't do well in them because you're just so anxious you think everyone's judging you and stuff like that you know and it's a real thing I I've gone through it I still go through it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back to that. Uh, but uh, social and social being socially challenged, it's you don't know how to deal with a lot of social situations. You know what I mean? It's just but socialize socialize. I can't even say it. Social isolation is just you. You don't have the same social opportunities as everyone else, and that's really what I went through growing up. But I want to really go into what the hell even is. Before I really say my piece on it, so here goes. According to Wikipedia, social isolation is the complete or near complete lack of contact between an individual and society. It differs from loneliness, something else I go through, which reflects a temporary lack of contact with other humans. Social Isolation can be an issue for individuals of any age, though symptoms may differ by age group. Social isolation has some has similar characteristics in both temporary instances and for those with a historical lifelong isolation cycle. Um, all types of social isolation can include staying home for lengthy periods of time, having no communication with family, acquaintances, or friends, or willingly or will or willfully avoiding any contact with other humans when those opportunities do arise. Well, here's my piece on it, and I'm just using again. I just use I'm just using myself as a template. You know, growing up, and even now, even now, 
But throughout my whole life, kind of like this says, I didn't have the same social opportunities as everyone else. I didn't, I never had that many friends. I still don't have that many friends. Um, I gotta be honest with you. I, I, I see these things, you know, I, everyone has many groups of friends, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But I have very little friends. And that, that's okay too, I guess. But here's the thing. Like, because I don't have a lot of friends, and because I don't hang, I, that's another thing, I don't hang out often at all. I never did. Okay, even when I was in school, um, specifically, when I was going to school, high school, junior high school, college even, I would spend a lot of my summers at home, alone. Nobody texted me, nobody really called me, nobody really hung out with me ever. My summers were just all at, always at home. You know, maybe I would work sometimes, but, but for the most part I was home all summer. And even to this day, I don't hang out that often. I don't get texted every day or called every day. You know, I don't. I don't receive a thousand texts a day at all. I, I'm lucky if I get a text once a week. And I don't hang out that often at all. I barely hang out. Rarely, rarely, and very rarely. And um, that's just the life I was given. That's just the way. Th everything fell into place for me. I didn't have the same social opportunities as everyone else got to have where I am. Um, and maybe that's, but I'll go more into that um, just throughout this video. You know? But yeah, the day-to-day -day aspects of this type of deep-rooted social isolation can mean staying home for days or even weeks at a time due to a lack of access to social situations rather than a desire to be alone. <laughs> here, here. Uh, you know, like I just said, I, I, didn't get, I don't get to have the same opportunities as everyone else. And maybe that's okay, because I do have Asperger's Syndrome, you know, and I'm very socially challenged. I'm also very introverted. I'm a shy, quiet person. You know, these, these things are not problematic. There's nothing wrong with being shy or quiet or introverted at all. But there, these are things I have attributes I have so maybe popularity or doing things every week or so would not bode well for me but it does I'll talk about this more I'll try to talk about this more throughout the video but it does hurt it hurts that to this day I didn't get I don't get to have the same opportunities as everyone else from a social standpoint anyway but I'm, I'm gonna try to talk really more about that throughout the video you know, and again, yeah, and going on, both not contacting and not being contacted by any acquaintances, even peripherally, for example, not never being called by anybody on the telephone and never having anyone visit one's residence. Here, here. Here, here. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I've talked about this before. I try not to contact people, really, because I feel like I'm a fucking bother to people. And that's that's wrong. I'm not. A, it's hard for me to admit, but I don't. I'm not a bother to people necessarily. But it's hard for me to admit that. But that's something that I feel. It's not a matter of right or wrong. Even it's not even a matter of the reality. It's just what I feel. It's something I've been made to feel. So I try not to bother people really, and nobody. Coincidentally, or consequently, nobody bothers, no, nobody contacts me. Just the way it is. Um, and, and yeah, a lack of meaningful extended relationships and especially close intimacy, both emotional and physical. So that's something I actually did want to talk about a little bit. Um, I've talked about this, kind of talked about this a lot throughout these videos, but... I'm 25 years old, and where I am, a lot of people are getting married or they're having kids or they're, at, least, at the very least, getting into relationships and dates and stuff like that. Now, here's the thing. That has never, ever happened for me. I've never, I, I'm not afraid to talk about this, so I, I, because <laughs> I just don't, it doesn't bother me anymore, but 
Yeah, it still kind of does, but I've never been on a date, um, and I don't know if I'm going to get to have that opportunity in this lifetime, if I'm brutally honest with you, you, the, the viewer. I don't know if I'm going to have that have those kind of opportunities in this life, because it's just the way it is, you know, I don't know if anyone would be willing to get to know me in that way. It's kind of it's kind of shitty the way I'm saying it, but that's that's what I think in my head. Cuz I don't have I don't have the same opportunities as everyone else socially. So, it, and maybe that wouldn't have an impact on me in a relationship, but <laughs> I'm I'm worried that I'm not gonna worried really that I'm not gonna get to have that those kind of opportunities to get to find love and get married and whatever comes next, you know. I'm worried about that. I'm worried about that, and because it's 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 a it's a possibility, very big possibility that I won't get to have that. You know, it's it's bad enough. Again, I'm using myself as a template. There, there's a lot of advice that I want to give, really. But it's bad enough that I didn't get to have the same social opportunities as everyone else growing up, and even t to this day. And to not even get to have, to not even get to find love, or to get to get, to have the opportunity to get married. I'm just supposed to live alone. You know, I'm not going to get to. I'm even going to be alone in that regard. That scares me. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it can happen. It wouldn't bother me so much if I got to have the same social opportunities as everyone else. I know I keep saying that. And maybe it wouldn't have been good for me if I had those, because I'm just different in that regard, but... In a lot of regards, but... I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense, really. I just, I just want to, I just want to have a sense of happiness and normalcy, because I never got to have that. You know, and to just have a sense of someone who gives a shit about me and stuff. You know? But I want to really go on more about about social isolation and what it's really done to me, and really what the hell it is again, and. There's some there's some advice I want to give you. There is some advice. I, I I'm not doing this for nothing, you know. But true social isolation over years and decades can be a chronic condition affecting all aspects of a person's existence. Social isolation can lead to feelings of loneliness, fear of others, or negative self-esteem. Uh, lack of consistent human contact can also conflict with the peripheral friends. The socially isolated person may occasionally talk to or cause problems with family members. That's kind of happened with me. Um, a little of all of that, really. A little of everything regarding that. A little of everything. Um, let's see if there's anything else worth saying. I don't know if there's anything else really worth... Uh, Worth bringing up, and it's part of this. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if I have really more to say on this in terms of defining what it is, but the point that I want to make, the, the advice I want to give you, really, and this is a bit of a less positive video. Than uh, than the last one I recorded, but that's okay. You know, you you know I I wanted to really tell you what it is. I don't feel I did that in the last video I made, which I probably won't be uploading. Um, but yeah, I didn't really go into what it is. You know, I didn't really go into. I didn't dig too deep into myself as far as like how it's affected me and how it makes me feel and stuff. I didn't really, maybe that's why I was positive, but that's besides the point. My advice to you, really, as someone who goes through that, and will continue to go through it, and may go through it throughout life, 
Because like I said, I don't know if there's going to be someone who saves me. I don't know if there's going to be someone who really wants to get to know me. Because that's never happened. No, no. Um, very few people in this life have made the choice to try to get to know me better. A lot better. Very few people have ever done that. And I'm not saying it's their fault. This is nobody's fault. This is, like I said, this is just the way things happen to turn out for me. Maybe they turned out that way for you too. I, I can't, I can't speak for you, but if they turned out that way for you too, and maybe they still turn out that way. Maybe things are still like that for you. Listen, I just want to tell you it's okay. That's what I try to, I, I know maybe this isn't the best advice, but I try to tell myself, and it, it's accurate. It's not a lie that it's nobody's fault. This is the way it turned out for me. And it's just, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's okay. It's okay that, you know, to not, to, to not have the same things as everyone else. It's okay. It's okay. You, you still have the potential to do so much in this world. You know, even if even if you're lonely, even if you don't have anybody to count on. You you are here. You count as somebody too. And if you have to be the person who says how do I say this? Like if you have your how do I put it? It's just it sounds weird the way I'm going to put it, but you're not alone if you have yourself, I guess. You know, you are still here, and you could do so much in this world, in your life. You know, some people stay single forever, and that's and that that's okay, too. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not getting married. There's nothing wrong with not having a million friends. It's okay. You know, and you just have to continue to stay and be the person you are. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I feel like I'm not. It's just, I don't know if I'm making sense, really. But, I guess what I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm making sense. The point that I'm trying to make to you, though, is just don't give up. Don't, don't beat yourself up for not having the same opportunities as everyone else, because I did that. And, I still do it sometimes. I, I told, like I said, I'm still worried, I'm still very worried about my future in terms of that in terms of finding somebody or making friends and stuff I'm very fucking worried but I try to tell myself as long as I'm here as long as I want myself on this earth and I want to do the and I want to really do great things in this world I count as somebody too and I count as somebody who's going to help me and as long as I have myself that's okay I'm, I count as a person too. And I know this sounds very. I don't know if I'm, it's making sense. I don't. I know. I know this is kind of a weird one. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's the way I try to view it. That I count as a person too in this world, and as long as I'm here, that's okay. Even if even if it's just me and nobody else in my world, it's okay. Cause I could, I, I could still do everything I'm set up to do in this world. So, yeah, that's 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 really all I got for you. you know, just don't focus on what everyone else has. Don't don't do that to yourself. Cause if you're gonna compare yourself to other people, cause I I used, I do I used to do that all the time. Sometimes I still do. And it's not worth it because you're everyone's different, and you're not gonna have the same stuff that that someone else has. Everyone's life is different. You know, you, you may not have it as good as somebody in some regards, but you may actually have it better than that person in a lot of other ways, too. You know, you don't know, really. So, anyway, that's my video. Um, I don't know what more I could say without it making even less sense. So, I'm going to stop it here, but... I like this one better at least, at the very least I like this one better. I hope it'll help somebody, I hope it'll resonate, you know, and 
I hope somebody will give will, will like it. You know, I hope somebody will actually like this video and care about it. And just like all my others, you know, I always feel like I'm not doing a good job on these. I don't know. So, but anyway, that's my video. And I really hope to talk to you guys again soon. I really, really need to think about what what the next uh, topic is going to be and stuff. So, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll talk to you guys again soon, very soon. Okay, be good guys. Take care. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, bye bye.